In a bold move aimed at setting the stage for the 2024 presidential race, Donald Trump, the presumptive Republican nominee, declared his intent to bring all remaining Bitcoin mining operations to the United States. This announcement, made on his social media platform Truth Social, marks a significant shift in Trump's stance towards cryptocurrency, transforming it into a key campaign issue against President Joe Biden. On June 12, 2024, Trump posted, We want all the remaining Bitcoin to be made in the USA. This statement not only underscores his newfound support for Bitcoin, but also frames it as a strategic counter to the perceived threats posed by a potential central bank digital currency, CBDC. Trump has previously criticized the idea of a digital dollar issued by the Federal Reserve, labeling it a dangerous threat to freedom and pledging to block its creation if he returns to office. Trump's vision includes making the U.S. energy dominant through Bitcoin mining, although this assertion is somewhat paradoxical. Bitcoin mining is notoriously energy intensive, accounting for approximately 2.3% of national electricity consumption in 2023. The former president's claim seems to hint at regulatory measures ensuring that the energy used in mining comes from American sources, thereby contributing to national energy security. However, this interpretation remains speculative. Trump connects Bitcoin mining to national security, suggesting that embracing cryptocurrency could protect the U.S. against its adversaries, including China and Russia, as well as domestic political opponents. This stance appears to leverage the privacy and autonomy associated with decentralized digital currencies against the perceived control and surveillance capabilities of a government-issued digital currency. Several of Trump's claims, such as Bitcoin being a defense against CBDCs and aiding U.S. enemies, lack detailed explanations. The Federal Reserve's development of a digital currency could potentially be accelerated by the widespread adoption of cryptocurrencies, contrary to Trump's implication. Additionally, the energy consumption of Bitcoin mining poses significant environmental concerns, which Biden's administration has addressed through proposed taxes on miners' energy costs to mitigate the impact. Trump's recent meeting with Bitcoin miners at Mar-a-Lago, including leaders from firms like CleanSpark Inc. and Riot Platforms, further emphasizes his commitment to the crypto sector. This meeting signifies a marked departure from his earlier skepticism when he labeled cryptocurrencies as volatile and a facilitator of unlawful activities. Now, he not only holds millions in digital assets, but also accepts campaign donations in cryptocurrencies and promotes his digital trading cards. Bitcoin's supply is capped at 21 million with around 90% already mined. As mining progresses, the process becomes increasingly resource intensive, with rewards for miners having at regular intervals. The US currently leads in Bitcoin mining, contributing 35-40% of global production, followed by countries like China, Kazakhstan, and Russia. This leadership position aligns with Trump's ambition to consolidate and expand U.S. dominance in the cryptocurrency landscape. Trump's latest embrace of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency represents a strategic pivot designed to distinguish his campaign from Biden's, leveraging digital assets as a symbol of freedom and economic innovation. While many of his claims invite scrutiny and debate, they undeniably place cryptocurrency at the forefront of political discourse as the 2024 election approaches. This development highlights the growing significance of digital currencies in shaping economic and political strategies on a global scale.